you want to buy a good used car? Well, you're not alone. There are a good many people who want dependable transportation for less money than a new car. And they get it. Because today's cars have enough mileage built into them by the car makers to fill the needs of a long line of different owners. Some people look at used cars to find a second or even a third car for the family. Some people want more car, more in it, more on it, than the same money would buy in a new car. There are also some who trade regularly for a year-old model because it costs less than buying a new car every year. But whatever reason you have for wanting to buy a good used car, the first person you're likely to meet is the used car salesman. Before he can be of any real help to you, he will need to know how do you plan to use the car? Business? School? Pleasure? How much do you plan to drive it? And how much can you afford to pay for it? It is a fact that unless he knows your price range, you both may waste a lot of time. I'm Frank Reynolds. I'm Jack Stewart. Can I help you? Well, I, I want a car to drive to school. My father will sign for it. It doesn't have to be a T-Bird, but, well, it does have to have some uh, class. What else have you got in this price range? Well, um, the uh, hard top or the convertible over there. Mm. You can't go wrong on either of them. Oh, fine. If I have any questions, I'll come ask. Nothing, really. It's just that this is more what I had in mind. Well, this convertible is a real good buy. Well, what are you doing? Looking for signs of serious accident damage. I checked the doors to make sure they fit smoothly without slamming. I looked at the body panels for any ripples. Oh. And uh, now... I make sure the paint on the underside of the hood is the same as the paint on the top. Oh. Looks the same to me. Yeah. How about the fan? That's right. It isn't bent. Oh, could I see it with the top down? Oh, sure. Uh, Jim? Jim, would you uh, put the top down on this, please, and uh, get a boot on it? Thanks. Okay, Inspector, what's next? Belts. Oh, sure, safety belts. We recommend them on every car. More than just safety belts. How safe is the whole car? The word belts is an easy way to remember five safety points you should check. B for brakes, E for the exhaust system, L for lights, T for tires, S for steering. Belts. Yeah, those are five things that ought to be checked regularly on every car. Very good. Lay it on. Well, if you don't mind, I'd like to show you what I mean. I start with the brakes. With uh, regular brakes, I hold my foot down on the pedal, steady, well, for about a minute. And if the pedal holds, doesn't fall away slowly, then I know the brakes are good. And there are no leaks in the hydraulic system. I'd also like to test the brakes by driving the car. Well, easy speed, not fast. I keep stopping a little harder each time. The brakes are good, the stops will be straight, be smooth, and the car won't swerve, the brakes won't uh, grab or chatter. Well, the brake pedal seems okay. Now, oh, let's see. Ah, I'm gonna check the exhaust system. Make sure it's safe. Well, it doesn't have to be new or anything. Just not too rusty. And uh, no holes knocked in it. Well, let's see. Ah, L for lights. 
If you uh, work them, I'll watch them. You think we'd put a car out here without lights? <laughs> no, but something might have happened here on the lot. So I'd still like to check them. Okay. Headlights. Uh, let's see the brights. The parking lights. The turn signals. The tail lights. Uh, try the turn signals again. And now the brake lights. Everything check out? Yeah, fine. What now? Uh, see for tires. The low mileage car, they ought to be good. No, yeah, not bad. No cracks or scrapes on the sidewalls. Plenty of life left on these tires. All the rest are just like that one. Bear's almost new, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. These are fine. Let's see. B-E-L-T-S. S for steering. Checking the free play? Yeah. How much you figure is normal? Oh, about this much. A couple inches for manual steering. With power steering, almost no play at all. I'd like to take it out on the road for a few minutes, too. Can we take it out in a few minutes? I'll get the license plates. Oh, oh um, by the way, I've got a service record that shows just about everything ever done to this car since we sold it new. Fine. I'd like to see it when we get back. Watch Jack Stewart. He is actually duplicating a good many of the actions and observations of professional used car appraisers. He's making an overall inspection, checking the total appearance, the condition of the paint, the metal. Now he's checking the action of the shock absorbers and the condition of the trunk. To a used car appraiser, a neat trunk with a good spare, with a jack firmly fastened down, is a positive plus. Small things like this indicate the kind of care a car has had. Now he's checking the condition of the interior. Seats, armrests, and the floor covering. He's seeing that the windows work and that the glass is all right. One of the most important things in any used car is unused engine life. Here he's looking for signs of possible trouble or wear, like traces of water, fuel, or oil leaks. He checks the radiator water for rust. Some rust is normal. Thick and gummy rust can mean a hot running engine. He's also checking the radiator and heater hoses. Hard, brittle ones will have to be replaced. He's checking the seat for support, comfort. Makes sure the adjuster works. Tries all the knobs and buttons, including such simple things as the cigarette lighter. You know, one small thing like that that doesn't work can spoil the fun of having a new used car. Well, got the license on and you've got the keys. Okay. Well, generator and oil light's okay. That's a good healthy sound. Yeah, not bad. If an engine is slow starting, it may need points, plugs, or a complete tune-up. If the starter doesn't kick the engine over quickly, it may just be a weak battery. On the road, Jack Stewart continues with more of the same basic tests used by professional appraisers. Repeated stops at moderate speed to see that the car stopped straight and smoothly, to see the brakes didn't grab or chatter. After each brake test, he watches how the car starts up and gains speed, the way a used car appraiser does, to see that the automatic transmission is performing smoothly. With a manual transmission, the clutch should engage smoothly without grab or chatter. He lets the car steer itself briefly on a level place, 
to see that it stays on the straight and narrow. No tendency to drift. You can get drift from poor alignment of the front wheels or from unequal tire pressure. He also makes several running acceleration tests, taking the car from 10 to 40 miles an hour. With an automatic transmission, the engine shouldn't race during the shift and the shifts themselves should be smooth and even. A manual transmission car should pick up steadily without the engine hesitating or bucking. A series of sharp turns at low speed, both to the right and left, to see that the steering doesn't bind. He also checks the steering over bumps to see that it is not loose or jerky. Thanks, Mr. Reynolds. I'll be back. He sure covered the course. Oh, Mr. Reynolds. I told you I'd be back. Uh, this is my dad. Well, how do you... Mr. Stewart. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. When your son introduced himself, I didn't recognize the name. Say, how are those uh, new bakery trucks running? Very well. How's the used car business? Passable. Can we improve it a little? I understand my son has found a good car. Well, I think so, Dad. I did a fine job. How about a small commission? Ah, uh, remember I'm the one that recommended he come here. I appreciate it. And I'll keep on recommending your pies and cakes. <laughs> <laughs> There's one thing I'd like to know. How did you learn so much about appraising used cars? Well, uh, driver education. Boy, he sure did his homework. <laughs> <laughs> Literally millions of good used cars are bought every year. To buy yours, remember a few basic rules. First, shop for a dependable used car dealer before you shop for a dependable used car. Second, reassure yourself that the car is in good physical condition and has not been in a serious wreck by performing the few simple tests outlined in this film. Third, make a thorough safety check of the car. Remember the word belts to remind yourself to check brakes, exhaust, lights, tires, and steering. And remember too, that failure to pass all the safety tests should not mean automatic rejection of the car unless the seller cannot or will not adjust or repair the car so that it can pass the tests the second time around. And finally, examine the car yourself by using the same on-the-lot and on-the-road tests a dealer or appraiser uses to determine the condition and value of the car. So you want to buy a good used car? No? I just bought one. 